Hey folks, Marcel back again with The Pulse. Got some great news this week. I heard about a study, and many of you have heard about it, I wanted to weigh in on it, that shows inhibiting IL-11, which is a protein that causes inflammation in the body. If you inhibit this in mice, they live up to 25% longer, and they experience a significant reduction, among other things, in cancerous tumors. So they're healthier. They've extended their lifespan and their health span. These numbers are in line or in the ballpark of numbers that we've seen with rapamycin, which is a pharmaceutical drug. Now, interestingly, this study was published or listed in an article in Nature, the journal Nature, but not picked up the way the rapamycin study was. I found that really interesting. But again, we know what that is. These relistings of studies are paid for, funded by the pharmaceutical company after they're listed. So they get relisted, they pump millions of dollars in to boost them. You get a study like this that isn't tied to a drug or specifically a drug. Matter of fact, they're vague on the means that they inhibited IL-11, but I'm gonna talk about some really good stuff there. And then some stuff that causes some concern. But it's not tied to a drug, therefore you don't have the pharmaceutical companies paying to relist the study. So you hear about it within the longevity community. You hear about it certainly in channels like this that are already suppressed by YouTube, but you don't hear about it in the news media. It's kind of unfortunate. So it's a good news, bad news story. It's a good news for those of you taking some of these things that already inhibit IO-11, like quercetin, sulforaboost, berberine, all sold, marketed by Do Not Age. They all inhibit IO-11. So you're already in the game in this study. You don't have to make a major change if you're taking these things already. Inflammation, as I stated recently, unrelated to this, is coming up again and again when we talk about diseases associated with aging. So reduce inflammation. By the way, stop eating sugar. It's another great way to reduce inflammation. But these supplements, a healthy diet combined with these dietary supplements can further help you reduce inflammation and live healthier, live longer. So it's yet another study that has more specificity, but backs up a lot of what we've been talking about here for the past three years. So Do Not Age, by the way, has bundled these three supplements that inhibit IO-11. And while supplies last, you can buy that bundle and save additional money there. By the way, use the code the pulse, save another 10% on that and other supplements, like their brand new announced probiotic, which starts shipping the middle of August. That's pretty interesting too. I'll talk about that in another video because I wanna look into it more and speak about it more. Now, one of the reasons I have concerns about a study like this, not just because the mainstream media didn't pick it up or hasn't picked it up yet, is the fact that David Sinclair posted about it. And I can't help but to be taken by some apprehension and I'm going to tell you specifically why. When I went to Washington last year and I met with some CEOs while I was there of different supplement companies, one of them, the CEO of a billion dollar supplement company, said to me specifically, point blank, I'm absolutely concerned with NMN, even though we're not selling it yet. They were about to sell it. It was about to be, as I said before, in grocery stores, just like David Sinclair goes to Hong Kong and sees NMN on the shelf. And I'm going to get back to IL-11 here in a second. NMN was going to be on the store shelves as well. So what the CEO said to me is, the dam's going to break if they get NMN. The floodgates will open and no supplement is safe. So now you got this study. Great news. And supplements can inhibit IL-11. Natural ingredients like quercetin, sulfur boost, which is Do Not Age's version of sulforaphane, a very high quality version. And then berberine. These are all natural ingredients and none of them are safe. And that's what causes me so much pause because if NMN, which has been in the spotlight and now according to David Seclair, is a $2.5 billion industry, if the FDA can make plays on that, which I think is futile, I just don't see how they're going to undermine a worldwide $2.5 billion industry if it indeed is that big. But the people that suffer are half my audience, which are United States citizens. Half of you residing in the U.S. that watch this channel are going to suffer from their moves on NMN. And all of these, all of these ingredients, make no mistake, are under threat if the FDA wins in their moves to remove NMN from the market in the United States. All of these are under threat. So we got this great study. We got a great connection with IO-11 and inhibiting IO-11, taking these natural ingredients. 
which is exciting and fun to talk about. And finally, we have a pathway that is similar to rapamycin in the results that it gives. Maybe better because there are less side effects. And certainly it's exciting for the potential to reduce cancer. Listen, mice are very prone, older mice are very prone to cancerous tumors. So if you get a significant reduction in cancerous tumors, yes, you're gonna get longer life. But as you saw probably on the thumbnail, these mice look healthier and younger as well, which is truly exciting. If you can do it in mice, maybe you could do it in people. And maybe that's why some people like myself and thousands of people that have chimed in on this channel are feeling and even looking significantly younger. Yes, I feel like the aging mouse <laughs> with a nice coat still, but I can't help but feel under threat. And I'll tell you, I'm reminded of it every time I make a video, which is about nine, 10 times a month lately. Every time I make a video and I see it have the first day bump and then it tapers off and never bumps again, it never reaches a wider audience, which all my videos Prior to NMN hitting that database last April, all my videos had a second and third day bump and reached many more new viewers. It's just something I see. Now, I've talked about it from time to time. I haven't made a video with tape over my mouth saying, look, I've been silenced by YouTube. I've been tempted a few times to do that, but I've not gone to that kind of extreme. But I'm reminded of the power of the FDA, which is an arm of the pharmaceutical industry, literally, because a third of their budget comes directly from the pharmaceutical industry. I'm reminded of their power when I'm active on social media and every time I post content. I had 300,000 views a little over a year ago. And all of this is reflective in the general attention that natural ingredients are given. And now we're about 40, 50,000 a month with the same type of content, with oftentimes even better click-through rates and watch times. So the content should be shown to more people, but it's shown to far fewer, 70% reduction or even greater, which is worse than had I just made political content. A year ago, channels that got 300,000 views on either side of the political fence are now getting a lot more than that. Granted, we're in an election year. What I believe is the pharmaceutical industry doesn't care which side of the political fence you're on because they control both of them. And because they control both of them, they don't crack down on social media when you talk about controversial issues, unless you get into something very specific and dangerous, and then you'll trigger the filters on YouTube. But apparently, NMN is very specific and dangerous to the YouTube filters because they suppress this channel. And if they'll suppress NMN, and if they'll try to ban NMN, they'll go after all of these things. And I believe we're already seeing it. I believe there are only certain channels and outlets that will cover these types of natural ingredients and this type of story. And it's criminal. 25% extension in life, and it's not covered by the mainstream media? Are you kidding me? This is hugely impactful, but it falls beneath the noise floor because it involves a natural function of the body, and in this case, natural ingredients that can help generate these types of results. So what I'm gonna be doing in the future is working on new types of content, and I'll be launching in other platforms. I'll continue here, and I'll point you to other platforms. This is what I've seen other channels successfully do, where they'll end up on X or Rumble or Instagram, then they'll mention it here, and then you can go there. And that's gonna have to be the scenario going forward because there's really no point in doing this anymore if we can't reach new people. I'm just talking to kind of an echo chamber, my same audience who supports what I'm doing, and I love talking to you guys, but we're already on our path. We're reaching almost no new subscribers and no new viewers. I appreciate, and that's why I'm here, right? Those of you that say, keep going, I want you to talk to us. And I say, okay, I've got three, 4,000 people on average that we reach. It's not 30, it's not 300,000, but per video, you know, three, 4,000 viewers, and I'll keep talking to them and I'll keep sharing with them because they seem to appreciate these insights. However, what I've done to challenge myself is to say, hey, reach as many people as you can with this story. I think it's significant, anti-aging, turning back the clock, my own results, bring it to a wider audience. And we're not able to do that anymore on YouTube. 
I've signaled, I'm giving you guys a heads up for what's coming. Things are going to shift. I'll post as much content here as I can going forward. I'm not going to abandon you guys. I know some people like to consume content in their platform of choice. In this case, YouTube, it's very convenient. You go to a homepage, there's your feed, there's the videos you like to see. You watch them. You have an expectation that I'll be talking to you for 12 or 13 minutes each time. You know what you're going to get. You kind of know where I'm going to be. You may not know what I'm going to say, but you know where I stand on this. I've not wavered. You know, people who accuse me of things, hey, that's what this channel is. So for guys out there that want to accuse me of this or that, I've never wavered. I've never changed. Go back and watch my content from three years ago. Watch all 160 or 70 videos and you'll get the same theme again and again with slight changes in the story because new information comes out, just as what happened here. I'm always excited about new information, but I always get concerned when I see David Sinclair's name attached to it, and I don't see the mainstream media picking it up. I'll see you guys real soon. Thanks again for watching. Those of you that are still here, thank you very much.